everybody pudding o'clock yes it is and obviously by the title you know what it is steamed treacle sponge or really slow cooker treacle sponge uh, and there is water in there so I suppose it must create steam but after my um, slow cooker bread all the uh, fantastic um, suggestions etc loads of brilliant suggestions which I've noted and are on my to-do list um, I sort of couldn't help but think mmm treacle sponge um, something I haven't had since I don't know school <laughs> uh, and then I thought why not why not revisit this um, and I do like the idea of sticking it in a slow cooker and really forgetting about it until you know two to three hours later um, which is what we're gonna do obviously my I'm going to be trying this out in my ninja 11 in 1 that has a slow cooker function if you had the typical oval shaped slow, uh, slow cooker the exact same instructions apply obviously it's just that's a little bit more simple you just turn it on and go I don't remember I think it might have had a high low setting on the original oval style ones I don't know I can't remember it's been a while since I had that one anyway um I, I was kind of looking for pressure cooker um instructions on this because I was tempted to try that but I couldn't find anything definitive um that gave good instructions on how to cook this type of recipe um on a pressure cooker function so if any of you do have any pressure cooker cake function instructions or tried and tested recipes do please let me know in the comments below thank you so recipe uh, i mean all the ingredients are over here so we're going to get get over there in a minute but that will they are pinned the recipe will be pinned in the comments and in the description as well as at the very end of the vlog in a sort of clip so yeah come and have a look at the ingredients so i'm using Lidl golden syrup which is a little bit cheaper um the ingredients list will float up but what got me about this particular recipe is its inclusion of a lemon um, which made it stand out so the lemon is optional it's not something that you absolutely necessarily need however i i absolutely love lemon so the lemon flavored uh treacle sponge will will, will be really lovely so yeah self-raising flour i'm actually using softened butter on this one sugar eggs etc so let's get cracking it's the usual i'm cream like a cake going to cream the sugar and the and the um butter then slowly add the eggs i'm going to do that all on fast pace i will sieve the, the self-raising flour into the bowl add the lemon zest of one lemon and juice what half of the juice because one half of juice of this will actually be added to the the um the golden syrup which will actually be put i think we're going to be using this unless i find a bowl that actually fits better but that I, so far i'm going to go with this anyway let's crack on and get mixing see you in a bit add the butter sugar zest of one lemon first egg second egg third and last egg I'm just going to add the milk Okay, I'm just going to sieve the um, self-raising flour a bit at a time. Juice of one lemon, I'm gonna add this a little bit at a time. Half of the lemon juice in the actual um, golden syrup. Okay, I've greased um, the bowl that's going in the slow cooker um, and we're gonna be putting this into the bottom, technically the top, because obviously it's 
the cake. It's currently upside down, the sponge. Okay, let's get this in the, the slow cooker. Okay, um, I've taken the wire rack out. Um, I'm going to put some water in the bottom. Just going to go with the whole a jug's worth. I think that'll be fine. And it's just going to go directly in. Yeah, it's just in. Fits nicely. I'm not sure, having never done this before, whether that cake will rise. Um, so it felt like it was a bit, the bowl was a bit too big, but I'm limited in bowls. Um, so I just thought, well, I'll just go with it and see. Maybe extracting it's going to be an issue. You know, when, it, when we come to put it, plate it up, etc. That might be, mm. but we'll see. That might may have been a mistake, I have no idea. So, um, it, the recipe said two and a half to three hours. So we're just going to put three hours. It's a slow cooker. Oh, I mean, honestly, it's oh, four hours. Okay, right, what's the time now? I'm going to do a three hour clock. It says four, it won't go any lower. Hey ho. Um, it's, on, it's on the slow cook function. It's on high. Can you see that? It's on high. Three hours, ignore the four, start. And there we have it. <laughs> well, I mean, I've got other things to do. And I quite, that's why I really like slow cooking, because you can just crack on with other stuff. So I'll see you when this is hopefully cooked. Oh, right, it's been in the slow cooker for over three hours, three hours and 20, um, where we had dinner and time was a factor. So I'm, I'm hoping it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Uh, let's find out. The, cu Ooh. the custard is currently heating up. Um, I mean, yeah. Let's get it out. Uh, I'm thinking of using forks. Hold on. You know, it's not going to be easy to get. Well, I didn't. I wasn't sure. I think this might work. Get rid of the excess liquid off the top. There's still quite a lot of water left, oh my god. That's a bit precarious, but it did the job. Um, let's turn this off. Whew. Well, I'm gonna move this out of the way and we're gonna look at this pudding. Well, I say now, it might be a disaster. Never done this before, I've not looked. Ooh. Wow. Oh, lemony. Wow. I don't know, do I leave it for a bit? I'm actually not sure. Um, I don't know, do I leave it? Yeah. Oh God, this is gonna take some thinking. <sighs> Pleasantly surprised, I must say. Um, I have a plate. I'm not sure if it's just going to simply oops, um, go onto the plate. What I will do right this minute is actually leave it for 10 minutes just so I can handle the metal when I flip it. Yeah, so I'll see you in 10 minutes. Okay, um, I'm going to attempt to get it out of the tin. I'm just going to slide around it. I think a smaller tin would have been advisable. <laughs> Oh dear, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but hey, it smells great. So I'm just going to flip it. Oh, something happened. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> you got to have a look. I don't know if you can see. Wow. 
the, the, the liquid is very runny. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Right, I'm gonna let it cool further because it's still quite warm. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay, let's just cut a piece. I just want to move it really. I have siphoned off some of the um, some of the the sauce. Okay, taste test. It's got custard. Mmm, gosh. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, comfort food. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's really delicious. The le lemony side of it. Mmm. Oh. oh my god. It's so light, the sponge. Mm. Oh, the lemon. Wow. Well, I don't... If I make this again, I know to get a smaller bowl. It doesn't need to be that big. Um, I will put the, the size of the bowl details, because it was there, but in the recipe I found, but I only had that bowl. I didn't have a sort of uh, the sort of right size, but it doesn't matter. Mm. Oh my god, that's absolutely delicious! Right, right one more, one more. Mm. I got to serve this up for the family while it's still hot, warm. The cake's warm. Custards. I don't want to serve, wait for the custard to go cold. That was absolutely delicious. Um, while it was cooking, I, cook, I, I made the dinner. I, I really like that. Really delicious. What comfort food. Um, so yum. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Um, see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.